Welcome to my video this week. Today we're going to see how we can make a saxophone sound like a duduk. The Armenian duduk is one of the most extraordinary wind instruments of all time. Try to find an instrument that has such a large reed compared to the resonator size. Obviously, if we take the reed and mount it directly onto the saxophone, the reed is too long and the saxophone will be out of tune. So we have to cut off the reed about here and make an extra mount to mount it on the saxophone. If we do that, it's going to look like this and it sounds a little bit in between a duduk. You can still hear the characteristic of the duduk reed and a soprano saxophone that has a conical bar. So let's build the Duduk adapter. Okay, so here we go. So what we need to do is we need to cut out one of these templates. And when we cut them out, we're just gonna glue this with paper glue onto our, so this is here a disc and um, we bought it as a brass disc because it's so much easier than to cut something out like this. Now we're gonna drill the pilot holes with the drill press. This is a very small drill, so we don't have much torque. Okay, so that's all we need from the template. So we got the four pilot holes can take this off. Now what we're going to do is because we want to have the same holes here, we are going to connect this. We're going to drill the pilot hole here too. Okay, and now we can screw this here. Now what we have to do is we're going to cut the discs out and we're going to use the carbon steel hole set. Important to put something here beneath it in case we drill it through. You want to wear your safety glasses, okay. Okay, now we're going to turn the whole thing around and cut it through. Careful, this can be really hot. Here we go. Okay, so now we're going to drill the hole for the neck into the brass plate. There's a lot of talk, you don't want to hold this with your hand. And we're going to increase it and move it up. In drill size until we have the largest half inch hole. Okay, next one.
I'm sorry, we have to get this up to <coughs> about 15.8 millimeters. So now in the next step, we're going to cut the neck. And what we have to do is we have to cut it pretty much here with the flange so we can solder this one in. Because it's conical, I made it the guide at the end so that we actually get a parallel cut. Sort of this in here. So now we cut the neck off and we filed up the hole in the back plate. So I can show this here so it fits directly into the hole. And now we're going to solder it. Uh, because this is coming into contact with the wind instrument player, I would really recommend to use something. This is a water soluble paste flux that we use for water pipes and also lead free solder. Okay, so we're done now. It's not very pretty, but it works. And we're finishing this and sanding this. Can polish it a little bit if you want to. Um, with a wire brush. So theoretically we could also paint it. But I don't think I'm going to do this today. So we're going to leave this as it is. And now we're going to put in here the reed. The reeds I order directly from Erewhon in Armenia or via eBay. Done this a couple of times and was never disappointed. Because why wouldn't you order the reeds from the country where they make the original instruments. So what we're going to do is we're going to drill this out and then we are going to cut it once we glued it in because the wood frame will give it extra stability. So we have to see it's about 2.2 centimeters times 1.8. I'm gonna finish this here. the pilot hole.
this. We have to file it out until the read fits. So before we um, glue this in, we're going to sand the edges a little bit off. Now we take the hot glue gun here, the reed, and we're just going to do the edges really quickly. And then we put in the reed here. There we go. I'm going to fill up. So here we go. See on the top here. So now we're going to let this um, cool down for a little bit. And then we're going to cut the reed here at this, this edge. Make sure you don't put any pressure on the reed. and we have to send this flat now as the last step we are just putting our mount in here all those holes line up nicely if it's not tight enough you might want to put some sealant in there, like silicone or so. Make something that you can remove. So if the, you need a new reed, you can use the same bottom plate adapter, which takes more time to build than the adapting the reed. So. Put the ramish bag on. And here we go, that's our modified to do grade.